Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Real Scale Mass Recall. Uh, before we get into this, we're going to be doing two missions today. First is J. Jacob's Installation, and then the second is a Revolution. So, uh, actually, let's just get into the mission. Because I don't know if this mission is going to have too much going on for it. Oh, look at those fire fats. They're so fiery. My goodness. How are they going to fit through there? <laughs> Oh, they don't have to. All right. Okay, these, uh, yeah, they're pretty big. Look at that. These do not look like the previous fire bats we had. Uh, okay. Everything looks different than what it looked like before. I'm actually kind of confused. Because we had, like, StarCraft 1 skins enabled before, and now... Oh, is this, like... Okay, uh... We're not going to be able to change the options here for Mass Recall. This is uh, this is the Sons of Korhal skins, isn't it? Uh, every single faction in Mass Recall has its own skin set, I believe. So this is... We're no longer playing Confederate skins, we're playing Sons of Korhal skins, which makes sense. Alrighty, righty. Let's uh, roasty-toasty our way through these. Oh, these guys are dying fast. The camera is zoomed in more than normal because it's a no-build mission, which is a good thing, but I'm also not used to it. <laughs> I'm just checking things out. Jim does... He has three grenades. He has a stim pack. How much does stim cost? I don't want to hit it yet. He's got five armor. Unlike his normal six. A seven range. I don't know why everyone has two range. Is that a Jim thing? Are you just making him good, Jim? Oh, well. Whatever you do, you do, Jim. I'm very proud of you. Let's go blast. Is this what they had before? Yeah, 35 HP is correct. So this is... Sorry, I was... Oh, yeah, okay, this is... Uh, this is real scale. <laughs> That's big. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, these fire bats are almost gone. That's a shame. If someone needs to invent the medic stat, real scale medic technology. I wish medicine was real. That'd be awesome. That is a lot of fire. Oh! <laughs> so if we move you away from Jim, do you lose your range? Oh. Okay. Well, let's keep going then. Uh, this is like cameras. Automated defense system is deactivated. Heck yeah, Grandma. Okay, we're feeling pretty good then. Alright, so... The thing that I want to talk about while we're going through this... Oh, I'm glad those are deactivated. <laughs> oh my goodness. That would have been bad. The uh, thing I wanted to talk about was uh, yesterday's VOD for the <laughs> for the other series, the Supernova VOD. So this is a... Uh, what happened was, you may have noticed that the first Mass Recall VOD was a little bit choppy, and then the VOD for Supernova was even more choppy. And as a result, I just delisted the video because I don't think it was up to my standards. However, if you go to the comments of this and click on the link that I'm going to... Oh no, I can't do that because I have to pin the developer notes. Uh, if you go to the Giant Grand Games Discord, then the in, under YouTube releases, you can find a link to it if you want to watch it. It's a really cool strategy. I actually really, really love what happened. It was really, really fun. And I'm sad that we lost the VOD because it's not one of those things we can naturally reproduce. It was complete chaos the entire time with the worst strategy I've ever come up with. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, go check it out there. I apologize for that, but I think that I dealt with the, the frame dropping. I like to believe that I did. I just stimmed. That's not good. We need to go, we need to go win the mission now because we're <laughs> wasting HP. No, I keep trying to grenade, but st so my issue is that in the secret mission, <laughs> in Wings of Liberty, T is the button to fire grenades, <laughs> but in this mission it's not. It's to stim. Fire some more nades. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is really bad. Oh, did we win? Yeah, this is why we're doing two missions today. <laughs> Oh, we didn't really get much real scale stuff in here. We got the turrets. Those were cool. Thank goodness we don't have to leave. 
Jim can figure that part out on his own. I love trucks. Dropships. Why don't we just drive the truck into the facility? You ever think about that? Alright, let's get to move on to an acro... Acro. Actual macro mission. You can't just, you can't just combine those two, can you? Uh-oh, StarCraft crashed. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> it literally told me it crashed. Like, it didn't, it wasn't like the white screen with the circle-y thing as a cursor. It was like the, this has crashed. Do you want to send a report? Okay, I'll take it. Let's revolution. Skipping, skipping. I don't know what I can skip and what I can't. I can skip this. Yeah. All right, so this is the mission that we get the Wraith. I'm not like, oh, look at how big they are. <laughs> look at Mr. Bouncy Truck. <laughs> uh, uh. I just looked at the mini map. <laughs> this is gonna be one of those days, huh? All right. Well, we're gonna give it our best shot. We should be able, can you just, can you lock down with Kerrigan, a battle cruiser? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Why? Wait. <laughs> Is the camera in the cutscene? Because she's so tiny? Okay. Is, is the camera... <laughs> I'm pretty sure that the end of that camera pan was supposed to be like her shoulder and the gun and stuff but because she's two feet tall. It just went way past her. That's amazing. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, we'll try to take these down. I hope that never gets changed because that is so, so funny. Uh, by the way, we have to play with the scaled down capital ship options. Remember that this is still in beta testing and everything is not properly set up for the realest real scale. Oh gosh, Jimothy. Oh, we got to get you a repair medic. It's not. <laughs> okay. Jim with a casual 8 HP. Let's just thank our lucky stars that... Lockdown is truly an ability in this game. Wow. Jim is not living a healthy life. Let's, uh... What do we do? Can we just run past? Let's give it a go. We got a lot of Kerrigan health. Ow. Ow. I don't see any more detection. We're good. We're good. 18 HP. This is fine. Not a problem. <laughs> oh, I guess I can't cut that part. Oh, I like how her run animation was messed up too. There we go. Let's do this. Um, we're very zoomed in. There we go. This is a little bit more real scale. So the Wraith is going to be like legit. Because the Wraith is not bad in real scale. It just has an issue in Wings Liberty where you get it so late, right? But I mean, if we can have a unit that fires three burst lasers, does infinity damage. Whoa. We talk about how our bunkers are getting absolutely annihilated here. It's like, not even close. Okay. Oh wow, that turret did a lot of damage. Let's grab Kerrigan, bring her over here. I really dislike how dark Mass Recall is. I wish they wouldn't do that. Like, I can I can barely see a lot of stuff right here, and that is just Mass Recall design. I'm gonna have to get the zoom, like, perfect in order to make this playable. I apologize for it, it's just one of those things we're gonna have to live with. Let's grab this and go make an expansion over here. I'm not fully convinced that anything besides the Wraith is good right now. You know? Like, why would I why would I make not Wraith when I can make Wraith? Is that empty? 
I can't tell if it's empty or if it just is because Starcraft 1, it doesn't have the visual. I think it just doesn't have the visual. Let's take a look at what we got here. We got the dropship. Go, got a control tower. I'm going to get the control tower just to see if we have any upgrades. We have two raids. They have 275 HP apiece. Do pretty solid damage. What are their ranges? Seven and eight. Yeah. I mean, seems good to me. Got him. <laughs> All right, let's bring everybody over here. Uh, Kerrigan. Oh, hello. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wraith him. Get back! So bunkers don't actually have the ability to defend against enemy raids. The wraith range is too long. That makes sense. It's like completely realistic, but it's not good for me. Oh my goodness. Wow. The enemy is incredibly aggressive here. At least we patched up Rainer's bike. Start dropping some spideys. There we go. We got an entire spider mine down. Got a cooldown. It's a very fast cooldown, but it's uh, it stops the ability to drop three in quick succession. All right, some of those over here. I do love having the creature comforts of StarCraft Two, though. Makes this game feel way better. We have not really bought any units. The Wraith is really cheap. I'm actually kind of shocked how cheap this unit is. For how much bang you're getting, it's not very many buck. That's fantastic. We're we're definitely going to be able to go full Wraith, and they're going to have a bad day. Because, yeah, like, I don't want Marines, man. Marines are not going to be able to... Uh, we could probably clear an area no but there's a battle cruiser <laughs> what am i gonna do there's no way i can do like marine play against this it's it's a behemoth class it's huge <laughs> you know we're not we're not gonna do that today that's not what we're here for oh hello man they do enjoy their raids oh they have scam well i guess my life sucks uh, can I pull them over to this? I definitely can't lift it. Well, this is awkward. Thank goodness the Wraith doesn't do that much damage. Like, it's good, but it's not incredible. I cannot make an armory here. Interesting. Alright. Uh, engineering bag go. You know what? It's fine. Everything was fine there. Let's just pretend it didn't happen. We're going to get our control towers up. We're going to get our wraiths with the T button instead of W, because why would it be W? Uh, yeah, we could get no, $200 for 12.5 more starting energy. All right. Not a big fan of this, them knowing how to use the scan ability thing. Definitely seems uh, like that is going to come and bite me real hard later. Academy. Uh, I think we just need turrets. Something like this for this area. We're playing true StarCraft 1, where mass static defense is just a lifestyle that you have to live with. It is one of those things that I'm naturally predisposed against as a StarCraft 2 player. But, like, when in Rome, build missile turrets. That is what they say. And they keep saying it, so it has to be working. I'll just drop that right there. Spider mine them a little bit farther away. Oh, yeah! Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna learn how good missile turrets are. I have to fight them later, so... The answer is they don't seem amazing. I feel like once we get about sixth raids, it seems like we can probably just start clearing on the right-hand side. This is five raids, which is kind of like six if you can't count, so it's perfect for me. Let's give this a go. 
Let's just try to run them out of scans. If I can find their commsat station, that'd be cool. Whoa, that's a lot of goliaths. We sure don't do very much damage against these guys. Uh, the Wraith is a unit that if I had attack upgrades, it'd be great. They really, really scale with them because they fire three times, right? And their anti-air also fires twice. So having not that is pretty devastating, actually. But we can repair up. Get ready to go again. Uh, maybe the answer is that we do marine drop to help against the stuff like goliaths. That's not the craziest thing I've ever heard. We're going to keep clearing with these guys, but maybe what we want to do is secure this area down here, drop marines, and then do a combined arms push so that the wraiths can deal with the flyers. And then the marines can kind of contest everything else. So it seems like they're out of commsat energy, which is good. Which is why I'm trying to get a lot of damage done right here. Oh, there it goes. I think we gotta pull back and repair again. <laughs> the enemy is very scary on this early mission. Like, I am quite impressed. But I am also quite cheesy, so... I can start moving on over here. Let's get that drop ship. 100 gasoline. I can afford that. Just wanted to make sure I had the right number of guys on gas. So we're going to have this over here. These guys moving on over. And eventually I'll have 100 gas. Repairs are expensive. <laughs> they're worth it, but they're expensive. Jim, you are not going to go anywhere. Oh, I wonder how many guys we can fit into a dropship. I bet it's a lot. She's a very accommodating person, and I mean, they can sit on each other's laps and stuff, so it seems fine to me. Okay. I just emptied this bunker. Are you serious? <laughs> That's so funny. That is a big dropship, yeah. That is what it should be, right? Like, a dropship should be a Hercules, basically. Why would you have a small... Particularly because these are not medevacs, right? These are pure dropshipage. So, obviously, they're going to naturally be significantly bigger, given that they have one role. They're not supposed to sit there in combat. All right. Start the dropping process. Study some dropology. Uh, Alpha Squadron is going to be so confused. They are going to have the worst day. Go ahead, right, let's get this guy out of here and bring the Marines forward. Yeah, we're still taking a lot of damage, but we have an entry into the base. Yeah, it seems pretty decent. Marines coming out two at a time means that they actually help put on a lot of damage, too, against these small targets. Yeah, let's see, we got the repair thing going on. You uh, have no value anymore, but I appreciate what you did for the team. Now, how do we fight a battlecruiser? <laughs> that is the question of the day, isn't it? I haven't really figured out an answer that I like. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. That is the single-shot death battery, isn't it? Okay. Um, let's keep building some of these. We're going to have to grab our dropship and bring it on back, I think. Grab a couple SCVs and start working over here. Perfect. Eh, we probably need a couple more SCVs. How about you three? <laughs> You looked kind of lazy. Bring these ones over, and we're going to have to start proxying some turrets, I think. I think that turrets in conjunction with the Wraith might be enough. I'm hoping. I don't know for sure, though. Also, I need more minerals now, so I guess I need a couple more workers. I do have some idle guys that were doing some repair stuff. They can go back and help. 
Perfect. Idle SCVs is just a fact of life when you're playing real scale because it's just hard to manage everything. But that means that it's surprise income for later, right? Alright, we can see the range of its attack. So, drop these turrets right on the cusp. And then we'll engage with the raids. And after we do that, we'll try to pull it back a little bit into turret range. And then we win. Yeah. I like that ending. I think that's how it's going to go. I haven't lost against this battlecruiser ever before, so that's a... Oh, I'm running out of money. Uh, I am... I might be overly scared against this guy, but I am very afraid. I have cloak, which is good. Maybe we can use the dropship to pull. That seems like a good idea. Ow. It's working. Kinda. Ow, ow, ow. Go, go, go! Get him! Yeah! We're doing so much damage. Oh, I lost a lot right here. Oh my gosh, it's not even dead. What is still alive? There we go. We got it. We got it. Battlecruiser down. We just need Marines now. Grab everything that we have. We don't... No, not you, Jimmy. Grab everything we have on the island. And then we can zoom back in a little bit and we can start clearing. It's going well. Come on, Marines. Yeah, there was a ton of anti-air under there, and I couldn't really see it well, obviously. And it led to a lot of pain and slash or suffering. Oh, goodness. I have a bunch of Marines. Where are they? Oh. Uh, here we go. Oh, there's one stuck behind this as well. Yeah, we're going to have to move these a little bit forward. And we can take these down. Might even need a couple more barracks if we're going to do this push. I think that I've given up on the Wraith at this point. It did its job to help me secure a ground position. But now it's the ground unit's job to control the rest of this. We're going to get the armor upgrade going. Ah, we got some guys over here. I knew it looked like my marine count was wrong. I wish I had the Goliath. The Goliath is just really reasonable, and they're very cheap in StarCraft 1. At least normally they are. I can't really grab these guys, can I? Because I don't have a dropship anymore, and I'm cheap. Plus, I have to get some armory upgrades. So we're just going to have to work with what we have. Uh, okay, I'll make a dropship. It's not that expensive. It's only eight marines worth of money. Eight marines aren't that much. And then we can grab a comm set. We can grab the U-238 shells, and that means in 86 American seconds, we will be able to go. Not nearly as funny as the research time of Stimpak, though. So, yeah, I guess if we don't like our orders, we get uh, we get U-238 shells. All right. So we got the bunker. There's no one here. We want that area to be safe and to protect Karasar again. We're going to dump these guys out, bring them on into the dropship, and then drop them on down. And we definitely need the range before we go. Does this use blizzard time? This might be using blizzard time. Yeah, it absolutely is. Look at how fast this clock is going. It's insane. <laughs> it's like the rapid fire clock. Well, that's nice. It means that it won't take nearly as long to grab these. I don't really want to wait for any more upgrades, though. We're just going to cloak these guys. That's the attack timing sound. And then I need to make sure that I have... Oh, hi. Scans so I can make sure that I don't get blasted by... I was going to say spider mines. However, we actually killed like four or five spider mines. I don't know if you heard them. 
<laughs> but because we have StarCraft 1 Marines, but we have like StarCraft 2 Marine pathing and stuff, they're really good. And they just annihilated those spider mines without an issue. Yeah, I think this was a good strategy over. Oh, well, I mean, if I'm microing them, then things can go wrong because it adds a human into the mix, and humans are not known to be nearly as good as computers. And yet I'm still beating this guy. Get wrecked, Alpha Squadron. You're gonna be Beta Squadron soon. Meanwhile, Sigma Squadron is out there. Be in the chads. All right, so on this mission, we do have to take every single one of these buildings down, which has been annoying. However, we have so much damage. The missile turret guy, he'll never be, know what hit him. I think this is going to be it. So uh, before we end, I wanted to say that the Giant Grand Games 24-hour stream is happening very, very soon. I'm going to be mentioning this a lot until it happens. It is on the... Uh, oh, no. What dates? The 8th and the 9th from noon to noon Pacific time on the Giant Grant Games YouTube channel. I'm going to be live streaming on YouTube for the first time ever. Not this channel, but the main channel. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm going to do all 486 campaign achievements in 24 hours. In theory. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it in practice. I really hope so. But either way, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode of Real Scale. We got some pretty good stuff done. We fought our first battle cruiser. We only lost a lot. I, I, I like how quick the tech is in these campaigns. We don't have to wait around very much, and I think that's awesome. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. If you want to check out that Supernova VOD, then feel free to in the Giant Grand Games Discord. It's, uh, once again, under the YouTube releases thing. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace.